Hi, this is Tony Ling. Uh, welcome to my channel. During this pandemic, a lot of naive people, they just blindly uh, follow what authority tells them to do. And this authority, including Dr. Fauci. That family members who are responsible for the children will realize that and will be enthusiastic about getting their children vaccinated. What Dr. Fauci, he didn't tell you, is according to the Lancet study that children were among the least COVID risk group compared to people who are older than 12 years old. People who blindly follow the Dr. Fauci's advice to vaccinate their children enthusiastically. What they didn't realize is that uh, Dr. Fauci and his organization NIH actually collect the royalty from the Madonna are uh, $17 billion uh, revenue uh, from the vaccine in the year of the 2021. And uh, previously, I also made a video explain how Dr. Fauci and his organization collect this $17 billion uh, from Madonna. Uh, if you haven't watched that video, you can click this link to see the detail. That is why on my channel, I always make a video to help these people to find the data and the evidence so that uh, they won't be fooled by the Dr. Fauci again. So today in this video, I'm going to clarify one of the most common misinformation shared by these naive uh, people who sincerely believe that this Kuwait is approved by the FDA that is why this isn't experimental. From now on, I'll refer these naive people as cult of the cool way, so it is easy for you to understand. First, uh, let me show you this uh, PDF document from this website, IFPNA. Uh, IFPNA is International Federation of Pharmaceutical Manufacturer and Association. So you can see, uh, this link is indeed from ifpna.org. I just want to let you know uh, this is a legit website and I'll also include this link for you to verify this information. So if you go to the page four, uh, figure one, uh, overview of the development of the medicine or vaccine. And here you can see the, all the timeline to develop a new vaccine. For example, uh, the first step is the drug discovery. And uh, usually uh, this takes about two to five years and 100 candidates. And uh, uh, next step is a preclinical. So it takes about two years and uh, 20 candidates. And the third step is clinical development. So you can see uh, phase one, two years, uh, 10 candidates. Phase, two, phase two, two to three years, uh, five candidates. And phase three, five to 10 years. And also next day, and the next step is uh, approval, another two years. According to this document, phase three takes about five to 10 years. Uh, let me show you exactly how much time uh, Pfizer spent uh, in their phase three trial. Again, uh, this link is from the legit website, the New England Journal of the Medicine. I'll include this link as well in my description. So this is a uh, safety and advocacy of the BNT162, B2. Uh, this is Pfizer vaccine. So if you scroll down here, let me read it for you. Here, we report a safety and advocacy findings uh, from the phase two and three part of the global phase one, two, three trial, evaluating the safety, immunogenicity, and the efficacy of uh, BNT162, B2, in preventing COVID-19 in persons of 16 years of age or older. So exactly how much time they spend in the phase three trial. Here, let me show you. If you keep scrolling down, uh, here uh, you can see the result. So participant, between July 
uh, 27th, uh, 2020, and November 14th, 2020, a total of the uh, 44,000 persons were screened. <laughs> and uh, 43,000 persons uh, 16 years of age or older underwent the randomization at 152 sites worldwide in the phase 2 3 portion of the trial. So uh, uh, they did the phase 2 and 3 portion all together from July 27 to November 14. Uh, so it's four to five months, right? So previously I showed you uh, how much time you should do the phase two or phase three. Uh, phase two is two to three years. The phase three is five to 10 years. So uh, here I have a question. How could you expect the scientists uh, to find the long-term effect in a such a uh, short time of uh, four to five months that uh, your phase three trial, according to this uh, document, uh, is supposed to run five to 10 years. Uh, we know that this uh, vaccine just rolled out last year. And according to this document, we're still in the beginning of the phase three trial. That is why it doesn't matter if FDA approve or not approve, uh, this is experimental. Because the Pfizer phase 3 trial only took about the 4 to 5 months uh, and that is why they never tell you that uh, after 6 months uh, their vaccine efficacy uh, dropped significantly and you will need to take the booster and even second booster and third booster in order to maintain your immunity. And actually I made a video about the FDA they approved the fifth shot and uh, in case you haven't watched that video, you can click this link. I'll show you the official FDA statement from their own official website. So when this count of the QA, they said, Oh, this is FDA approval, so that is not experimental. Uh, they didn't even bother to understand how the vaccine is developed and uh, uh, they didn't bother to do uh, one single Google search. Uh, they can find exactly the phase three will need to take five to 10 years. Next time when you see a person, they spread a misinformation saying that uh, this vaccine is not experimental because it is approved by the FDA. You can do them a favor to share this document with them and also share the link from the New England Journal of the Medicine uh, that let them know the Pfizer trial phase three actually took about four to five months. For the regular vaccine development, uh, it should take about five to 10 years. If you agree with me uh, that uh, this information is helpful for this count of the QA, please hit the like button and share this information with more people and hopefully one day these people from the cult of the Kuwait can truly wake up from the uh, Dr. Fauci and the CDC's uh, propaganda. And because we're still in the beginning of uh, this experiment, we gradually learn more and more about the side effect from this Kuwait. But disclaimers, uh, according to the CDC, uh, this vaccine is extremely extremely safe and effective. So the side effect, according to the CDC, is extremely, extremely rare. So whenever the scientists uh, discover these uh, rare side effects, uh, I will always uh, report to you on my channel. So subscribe to my channel so you can always be informed. Thank you for watching today's video. Have an amazing day and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye.